Hi guys, Kike here. I'm gonna try to help you understand some new features of Flex for you. The 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 software, the amazing software for from Paul Daniels. You know Paul. Hey, he's been helping us since Open Board View since ages ago. I do a huge amount of work thanks to him. And well, uh, there uh, is it, it, like, like one of those people like Louis, like Tim, that have helped us through our, our hard moments, and we have learned a lot from them. And well, we just gotta be thankful with them. So in this case, uh, Flex Board View is a tool that we use to to see the board views or to open the board view files, and and it has many features that some people don't know or most people don't know. I didn't know until some time ago when a friend, Sam William, helped me because by chance he, he talked to 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 Paul and Paul told him how to do it. But I have seen that almost no other people knows about this and it and it's and it's a shame because it because no, it's not a shame it's like it's like that's not a word it's like it's sad because if people knew about this they will even love love even more the software i'm sorry if i get like uh like i, I don't get the word sometimes but it's just that my english is not my native language it's spanish so I'm trying to do my best here, so don't, don't crucify me. In this case, uh, we go to, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. What you have to do first is buy the software of Paul Daniels. And if you're not convinced right now, you're gonna be convinced when you see the end of this, okay? Because uh, I love the feature of the of Paul Daniels software where you can just open a schematics and look through a schematics without typing anything. You just go to, to your, Flex board view, open to, to your flex board view, and then you open it. And then, well, I have. Let, let's say we we open this board. Okay, we had it there, and there it is. Automatically, we have the schematic open, right? But we go here. Let's say we want to know the value. We, we want to know how much voltage should we have. Uh, well, let's say we want to check this. This is a fuse. We all know the fuse of backlight. Okay, then we want to know what which values should it have. We go to PDF, click, and in the back where PDF is open, it will take us right away through the through the fuse. So we know what it is, what it is, right? But let's say this is not what we're looking for. We want to go to the next page where that fuse is shown. We hit N on next and oh. Here it is. What is the value? Oh, this is F9700, okay? And it's a, the backlight fuse, right there. I don't know if it is in another part of the board. No, it's not, so it stays there, okay? When you when I hit this. And if you have any other doubts, we can help you with that. There are many guys on the group who, who will help you with that. Like, let's say, Peter or Sam or Tim or John or Matt or many people will help you with with doubts that you can have. Okay, so we see we saw this. It's amazing. You can you can look everything through a schematic. You you click. Okay, I want to know what is this? What is Q five five four ninety? Go to PDF, and again we go through the PDF that is in the back. Okay, and wait, I probably. Okay, here we show you. Okay, we go to PDF, and it will show us here. What is PDF? Okay, this is not it. So we hit next. Okay. Oh, this is it. Oh, who knew? Voltage change enabled. Okay. So what you're seeing here that's really easy you don't have to go and go to a pdf reader and type what you're looking for and check it through all the pages no you just do that and you're done the you have many choices between colors and ways to see it and it is amazing you can also store uh, here jobs this is a new feature too i love it create new job existing job list and in the job list you will have uh, let's say a board that you started working and you leave it on the side 
Well, you can open it and you can see what readings you took. What did you do with the board? With the board, it's like a like a notepad, and you can save there the what, what you have done, right? Okay. Uh, the most amazing feature that I'm gonna show you right now, if, if schematic thing is not enough, is this. Look what happened here. We're gonna go to U7000. We all know U7000, right? Uh, we gotta know which voltage we have. We're supposed to have like 20.5 here. And check, what does it say there? 12.55, 57. Okay, amazing. And look at that. All of those reading. Oh, who knew that Charrier AC, AC in is gonna be 4.20 volts? Or as Lewis would say, ASM, SMC BC ACOG would be 3.4. Hmm, who knew? But yes, we go here where SMC BC ACOG gets shut out and it's like, oh, 3.4, awesome. But look also, dial mode and resistance. So people have been working on this, on this to get those readings, to get those values and to make the 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 software better. So it's gonna be really more easy to, to find the things that you wanna find. So now that we know that and we want this because it's amazing, we're gonna say, how do we do it? How do we get it to work? We do this. We go to the, the page of, of Paul pldaniels.com as you can see there and then you go and go to the part of downloads in downloads you will get this as so you click downloads so you just go and download the latest development of linux windows or mac in my case it's mac as you you can see so i downloaded this okay and installed it with my license and after that it was fairly simple i i came here Okay, and then I got to, uh, I got here, if I remember correctly, okay, okay, aquí, uh, here. When you come here, you see, in my case, you can see that you can click this, open board data, okay, it's right there. You just click it, and once you click it, it will open this page, right, okay. Once you get here, this page of open board data, you're gonna have this option here, right? You go to code, you go to download zip, you click it, and after that, you will get this. Let me see if I can show you. You get this, aha. Uh -huh. You get this, and inside of this, you're not gonna need anything of this. You're just gonna need this open board data okay in this folder you have laptops and phone we're only interested in laptops right we go to laptops we go to apple and see txt files now what i'm gonna do with these txt files is i'm gonna look the one that i want to work with of course you're gonna ar arrange them later in the best way you could okay but let's say we want this the one where we were looking before okay we're gonna copy right and after we copy we're gonna go through here the file the the board where you have the your your boards uh, the, the folder where you have your boards stored your schematics and your board view so you go to here right and it's there okay what do we have in this folder as you should all have board view a schematic and what is this this is a file that I copied from that folder from before. I copy and paste it there. And that is all you need to do. After that, you're gonna go to Flex Board View, okay? And in Flex Board View, you're gonna go to Board, Preferences. And after that, in this case, it's already selected, but you're gonna go to Select. You're gonna look through the to the board where you save that TXT and you're gonna choose it. And after you choose it, you just click open. Okay? And after that, it will show here like the number of the board that TXT. And after that, you just hit done. Okay? And that is done. You will have the readings. Everything's gonna be working perfectly. I gotta tell you that some readings are not there yet because 
it takes a lot of work to take all the readings. It's a, it's a working project. And many people are trying to help, uh, including me. I'm gonna try to help with diet measurements and readings and voltages and all of that. So we know that here we should have 12.56 volts, but it's not there. But it will be because it's getting better each, every time. Paul is always working. He's working uh, in another things right now. Uh, and like meter on screen and functions like that for this software. So I would recommend, strongly recommend you to pay the, the because it's totally worth it. And you will have two years of, of updates for free. So like Lewis would say, don't delay, buy today. Thanks to, to all the friends that I have that have helped me with this. Sam and Paul and and Tim and and Peter and all of you guys. Love you guys and well, hopefully we'll see you again soon.